<laughs> hey, greetings, salutations, everyone. My name is Axe, and uh, I'm doing another Axe Venture. That is right. It's been two weeks, actually, a bit over two weeks since the last one I did uh, by the time I'm recording this. And yeah, I figured I might as well get around to do one. So, quick thing about the gameplay I'm playing the Scout on German 985 server. If you don't know who Germa is, highly recommend you check him out. He's an amazing, awesome YouTuber, inspiration kind of me. I love him. So, yeah, basically check him out. But now that that's over, I guess I will get to the story of my life, one of the random stories. And uh, this story is the time I broke into my own house, yeah. And uh, during this, there's going to be so much stuff that in uh, hindsight, you know, it's so much like, you could have avoided all this, but I didn't know at the time. I didn't know any better, you know, it's like, all this was unexpected. So, anyways guys, I shall begin. So... Uh, as it is, it was a few months back, and it was very, I remember it was warm out, because I had my window very slightly cracked. It was a weekend night, and my parents and my sibling, everyone was out of the house. Um, and so I was enjoying it, night of myself, I was playing some Modern Warfare 3 with some friends. You know, I got Rockstar, Tyler, Raider, Mile, Expect Greatness, all the bros. And we're all having a blast, fun time, infected mode, Modern Warfare 3 party. And uh, about mm, a few hours in or whatever, my dad... Uh, sends me a text from in town, and he's like, hey, I left some laundry on the back porch, you know, some shorts out there, would you mind uh, getting them? And we put them out there because it's very sunny, and so they dry, and so I'm like, yeah, sure, Dad, I got it, and uh, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but <laughs> anyway, so I'm like, yeah, sure, you know, so I just tell my guys, I'm like, hey, you know, I'll just be right back, and uh, I just go outside, and, you know, I don't need shoes, it's a back deck, you know, I don't, I don't need my phone, it's a back deck, whatever, um, so I go out there, and I grab all the shorts and all in one hand, and you know, I, I got it all piled up, and I'm walking through the door. And, uh, by the way, the back door has two. We have two doors on our back door. One of them is like a glass pane, which is generally the one I open and close, because it has a very flimsy lock, and it's only one of the, like, the flipping, uh, bolted ones. Not, not a deadbolt, but it was like that. So, yeah, that one generally is the one we open and close, because, you know, that. But the real legit door has a deadbolt, and then it has one of those ones on the handle. And, um, we go in and out of these doors so much that I didn't think that there'd be an issue, but we'll see. Anyways, so I grab all the stuff and I go to open the door, and for some reason I had closed the big door. And I even remember asking myself, why did I just do that? But I did. And so I go up to open it, and I put my hand on the knob, and I turn to the right, and it doesn't move. And so I'm thinking, oh, you know, uh, something's wrong. And I turn to the left, doesn't move. I'm <laughs> I get really desperate. I start pushing it in, pulling out, you know, doing this, like, weird, like, you know, thing to it. You know, I don't know. Anyways, doesn't work. I am locked out completely. No phone. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. No shoes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And let me think. Oh, spare key. Oh, wait. After I walked out all the way to where our spare key was, which is going over gravel and sharp prickly weeds and stuff, because I live in like a desert, high desert, so very fun. And uh, I realized that, oh, yeah, my dad was telling me all week that we need to move the key and it was my job to do so and the keys inside on the counter so here I am uh, basically no key and I think oh I can get through the garage you know I can go through the garage right so I open up the garage door and uh, realize that door is locked too to the inside and that's a dead bolted one that's locked so I can't just like get in there so I'm like okay great and then I start thinking oh I know I know, you know, right? There's there's a phone in here, and this is one of those old-fashioned, like, you know, you put your finger in and pull it to, like, the nine, and then, you know, that was it. So, ten digits later, I call up my dad, I'm like, hey, dad, yeah, funny story, right? really, I'm locked out. And he's just like, oh, uh, I'm not gonna be home for three hours. So, right there, I'm presented with two choices, either one, stay outside, by the way, it is dusk, getting dark. Uh, either stay outside three hours in the dark holding a pair of, like, tons of shorts, or I break into my own home. So, obviously, I, uh, go with the option B, and the problem that we're right now is how do I break into my house? So, basically, I remember, though, I had my window slightly, slightly cracked. So, I go around, and, uh, on the grass, a lawn, and I realize that there's a very large kind of bark chip, uh, pit in between my room and, or my window's room, I should, <laughs> my room's window and the grass. So here I am barefoot on this stuff, which is very, very um, splintery, by the way. I was picking splinters out of my feet for like two, three days or something. Anyways, so I get there, I'm doing that, you know, I'm, I'm uh, trying to get this window open, right? And I realized that in order to open up the window more, I had to get behind the screen to where the little um, rotating thing is, right? So here I am, sitting there, doing that, shoving my hand through this, like, one inch of window, trying to, like, pop up the screen and get it open, and it's, like, so hard, I couldn't even get it, right? So, 
finally do I like <laughs> I like bust the screen like I think I'm gonna break this thing right I didn't even care at this point I think I just like pop the corner of the screen to kind of curl and I, I here I am like with my hand already in this one inch thing plus this screen is crushing my hand and I'm like pulling it shut I accidentally pull it the wrong way to where it's closing on my arm so here I am like barely that finally getting it just open enough to get it going again I'm oh I don't even know what the neighbors probably thought of all this if they were watching but there I go finally opening it up get it and I it takes forever finally get the screen out and I unroll it everything so it's all open now the screen had fallen underneath my bed now, and uh, full of ten-year-old cobwebs and spiders and flies. So oh, wonderful stuff. So now here I am. I have to get inside, and mid-jump, I realize that my window's a bit higher than it uh, I thought it was. So I basically slam into my window. Really great, right? I'm shouting to the guys on the mic. I'm like, I'm locked out of my house, even though like they they couldn't do anything. And uh, finally, I get another running start. I just I'm so pissed off at this point. I just throw my shorts in the door. I just run and I jump and I get halfway stuck in the thing and uh, finally <laughs> flop over, make it in. And when my dad get home, he uh, got home. He said one thing. He's like, Oh, you made it in. So <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. Uh, I have a lot of them to come, one especially I'm saving up. So hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome day.